today I'm going to be showing you how to perform serial dilutions in order to isolate single spores. This video guide is going to focus on swabs, but you can do it with other things as well. The first thing you're going to want to do is to make some tween 20 solution. Tween 20 is a surfactant, which is going to help your spores not stick together. This will make it easier to ensure that you have one spore germinating once you isolate them. To do this, simply fill any autoclavable glass jar with distilled water, and then add the smallest drop of tween 20 that you can possibly add to it, add a stir bar, and mix it up thoroughly. Then you're going to want to cap off your jar, and finally you will autoclave this jar with your tools at 15 psi for about 30 minutes. Now that you have autoclaved your tween 20 solution and your tools, it's time to set up your workspace. Take out a rack in which you can hold your micro centrifuge tubes on, take your tools out, clean everything off, and we're going to want to just label our micro centrifuge tubes. This will help um, keep everything organized. I like to replace the strain names with a number and then a decimal point and a number after the decimal point. The first number notates the strain and the second number will notate the series in dilution that it is. So for your stock spore solution, you're going to put 1.1 and then for your first dilution, you're going to put 1.2 and your second dilution will be 1.3 and your third dilution will be 1.4. Then you're going to make a simple key to keep track of these things. Before we can do our serial dilutions, we will need to add tween 20 solution to the micro centrifuge tubes. Your first tube, which will be the stock spore solution, uh, labeled 1.1, is going to get one milliliter of tween 20 solution. Then what you're going to want to do is add 0.9 milliliters of tween 20 solution to each subsequent micro centrifuge tube. So your 1.2, your 1.3, and your 1.4 will all get 0.9 milliliters of tween 20. Now that we're prepared to do our serial dilutions, we are going to simply sterilize a scalpel and our tweezers. Now we are going to gently run the scalpel along the tip of the swab and remove the tip of the swab with the sterile tweezers. After removing the tip of the swab, you want to very gently place it into your first micro centrifuge tube. This is the micro centrifuge tube with one milliliter of tween 20 solution in it. Now that you've made your stock spore solution in the first micro centrifuge tube, you're going to want to shake it very vigorously and even possibly use something like a vortexer in order to completely homogenize the spores in the tube. The better you mix it, the more chance you have of separating all of the spores and ensuring that you do not have clumped spores. After thoroughly mixing your micro centrifuge tube, then you can pop the cap open, set your pipette to 0.1 milliliters, and take 0.1 milliliters out of the first tube and place it into the second tube. Um, after putting your pipette tip into the second tube, you want to just very gently move the liquid between the pipette and the micro centrifuge tube very gently back and forth. After doing this a couple of times, shake the second tube vigorously or vortex it. Continue to do these last steps for each subsequent dilution rate. 
each time you are putting 0.1 milliliters of the previous tube into 0.9 milliliters of the next tube, you are going to be diluting each tube by 10 times. So your first tube is 10 times diluted, your second tube is uh, 100 times diluted, your third is 1,000, and your fourth is 10,000. Sometimes it can be hard to tell if you have the right spore density in any one tube to get a single spore germination. So what I suggest that people do, especially when working with swabs that have uh, oftentimes albino spores on them, is to take a very small drop of each dilution rate of solution and mix it up, take that drop, and put it on a microscope slide. Gently place a cover slip over it and look at it under your microscope in order to determine whether or not it has dense enough or not dense enough spores. Once you figure out which microcentrifuge tube has the right dilution of spores that you wish to use, simply take a drop from that tube and place it onto a plate. We are going to spread this drop across the surface of the plate in order to help ensure that the spores are evenly spread out and are not touching each other. To do this, make sure that your plate spreader is sterile before using, either by pre-sterilized ones or a reusable metal one like I am using. After it cools down, simply take the plate spreader, place it flat on the surface of your agar plate, and move it across the surface in one direction, making sure not to overlap too much when you go back across the surface. Lastly, all you have to do is wrap your plates and label them properly so you don't forget which strains you just isolated.